Channel 33, RPM. Man, I wish there was a record store I could go to that had tens of thousands of records. No, hundreds of thousands stacked from floor to ceiling, plus CDs and cassettes and... Hold on a second. Channel 33. Hi guys, my name is Frank. Welcome to Sundays on Channel 33 RPM. A few of you have left me comments saying, Frank, it's been a while since we've seen the music room. You guys are absolutely correct. It has been a while, so I'm happy to be back here today in the music room. Things haven't really changed much except for the introduction of that giant skull on the speaker behind me. I found it, or I should say rediscovered it when I was cleaning the garage this past summer. And uh, it's a Halloween prop and I put it there at least temporarily. Last weekend I took a trip down, my annual trip down to Calgary and checked out Recordland, which proclaims itself to have Canada's largest selection of music. I'll show you some highlights from that shopping trip coming up. But first, a few quick shout outs, including uh, viewers David in Jacksonville, Florida, Kevin in Arnold, Missouri, and Ben in Alexandria, Virginia. These guys bought Channel 33 RPM t-shirts this week. Thank you guys very much for the support. Much appreciated. Anyway, on with the record store pickups. Check it out. Okay, as I told you guys off the top this past weekend, I took my family down to Calgary. And Calgary is the next major city to here. It's three hours south. And I try to go once a year uh, to the kids, the zoo, that kind of stuff. My wife has friends to visit, but I always take advantage of these trips to check out record land. And these guys claim to have a quarter of a million records on in the main part of the store alone. And I tend to believe it because there's aisles upon aisles uh, of records. And these shelves are from floor to ceiling and the records are stored you know the spines out so it's kind of hard to flip through the records especially when the store is busy and you get lower down the shelves but i gotta tell you it's always worth my time this is what i found first up is an upgrade copy of a record i own i've been looking for an upgrade copy for a while so sweet with their 1975 album desolation boulevard this was originally released in the uk a year earlier in 74 but the north american release here in the uk US and Canada came out a year later. It's a great album featuring such classic tracks as Ballroom Blitz, ACDC, Fox on the Run. Seriously, if you guys are not familiar with these guys, they were uh, phenomenal. And it comes on this classic Capitol label. Next up, a band from Calgary, Alberta. They are called The Electric Revival. And here's their new album, Magnetic North. And don't skip this, listen to this story because this is really cool. The leader of this band, the singer and guitar player is actually the mastering engineer at Canada Boy Vinyl, which is a record pressing plant down in Calgary. And he uh, and the band actually recorded this record in a studio above the record pressing plant. Check this out, look what this record says. It says right here, the audio on this record has never passed through a digital converter pure analog. And I've been reading a bit about this. As I said, they recorded it on tape and sent it directly to the pressing plant below the studio and pressed it on vinyl. How cool is that? And I've also got a handful of cassettes I want to show you. As regular viewers of this channel know, I'm a big fan of collecting 90s cassettes, particularly hard rock and metal, and there's no shortage of that at Record Land. Beginning with Kiss's 1996 release, right there, Kiss, unplugged, we'll open it up, folds out to show pictures of the band on this side and credits on this side including an ad for the history book at the time it only cost hundred fifty eight dollars this is one that's super excited to get in a really rare one it's Judas Priest Metalworks 73 to 93 and the insert so this one's actually pretty big folds out multiple times with little stories uh, about all the songs uh, over there uh, some more photos and some more information definitely not a 90s cassette but i do love this album it's judas priest stained class this originally came out in 1978 okay a couple more including anthrax this is one of the more controversial albums and that's the sound of white noise this is after they kicked singer joey belladonna out of the band and uh, got john bush on vocals and finally another one i'm super happy to pick up it's kiss with their 1996 compilation 
you wanted the best, you got the best. And again, inside, this is what I love about 90s cassettes. There was a lot of uh, information inside them. Another ad for history and uh, various photos and credits. That's today's update. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. You know it. I always love hearing from you guys. Remember, if you enjoyed today's episode, leave a quick like. If you haven't subscribed yet, click that button. Hope you all have a fantastic week. Until next time, keep on spinning.